I'm here at Jacob's Cigar and Tobacco Lounge with my friend Jacob Gerges, whose name I have difficulty pronouncing, but I got it right this that's time. That's all right. You're not an Egyptian. I'm not Egyptian. Um, I'm continuing with my series on house blend cigars, and today um, I'm with Jacob, who has his own blend of cigars. He's got a number of blends. Right now, we're smoking Gold. Jacob's Gold. Gold. Um, Gold this is a 6x60? Yes. And what do you have there? That's Toro 50 by 6. Okay, the Toro 50 by 6. Um, so, how long have you been... Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> how long have you been, been blending your own cigars? We've been blending cigars the first time was 17 years ago. Okay. And um, to come up with Jacob as a brand name was almost like four and a half years, five years now. Okay. And um, we did a couple uh, different brands before. Mm -hmm. So I did mix a couple blends before to some different names. Okay. Well, you know, they were known. Okay. I cannot say the name, okay. of course. Uh, but it's not the first time we've been making cigars for a while now. And um, that's it. All right, so let's talk about this one. I know it's made in the Dominican Republic. Can you give us a little bit of what the secret little, sauce is inside uh, these? A little bit hint about it. It's uh, you smoking. The wrapper is San Andreas Maduro. San Andreas Maduro, okay. And um, it's Nicaraguan Dominican filler. Mm -hmm. And binder is Nicaraguan. Okay. And I taste a little bit of that pepper and spice from the Nicaraguan, Nicaragua, but it's not. A little bit. Not it's overpowering, not right? No. Not too much, no. right? You you dial that in just well, right. Every cigar is different, right? Mm -hmm. We got twenty two facing mm -hmm. for Jacobs, mm -hmm. and the facings are uh, the different size, vitoles, yes. right? The different sizes and, and combination and, facings. And um, basically, I make cigars. Everybody knows that cigars three different types of cigars: mild, mm -hmm. medium, and full body. Okay. And when we make a size of cigar, we make even three different vitolas. Okay. And we make the cigars to be easy, um, friendly, even for new guys jumping into the cigar world. Okay. So I know we have the Connecticut, the Maduro, and the Criollo. Criollo. Okay. So let's talk about the Connecticut. Connecticut. Connecticut, we have Robusto, mm -hmm. Shura Robusto, Toro, and Churchill, and Agordo. So okay. five different sizes. Okay. It's and what's that composed of, the components of that cigar? Connecticut, of course, it's Connecticut. Wrapper, binder is um, Habano, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is different a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, you get a Dominican filler, 98. Okay. And you get uh, one more I, one more S piece of secret sauce. Yes. All right, so we're not going to do that. All right, and so that is that your lighter version of Lighter cigars. version of cigar. So your medium is that so going to be the Maduro? No. The Corojo is it's composed the, of? A medium body. It's uh, all the blends for the bundles, which is premium long filler cigars. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Croyo 98 Dominican mm -hmm. um, Dominican binder and Corojo wrapper is Corojo Dominican? it depends okay it could it. be yes. so is it um, a Puro? yes okay so it's a Nicaraguan Puro alright and then the Maduro well my Maduro is San Andreas okay and um, I just leave it as pure San Andreas Maduro. Okay. We don't do anything to it. We don't okay. treat the wrappers. Okay. We we'll we'll leave it natural. Um, and the filler and the binder? Filler and binder for the Maduro, it is Croyo 98 and Dominican binder. And uh, one more, two more fillers. Okay. Cannot. Okay. No, I understand. We cannot say it. Okay. And um, 
that's set for the bundles. Okay. Uh, our bundles, it's 20 right. cigars. Mm -hmm. Reason that we don't make it in boxes because it's more convenient. Mm -hmm. um, saving for the consumer or our consumers or our fans. Okay. Uh, the eight nine dollars ten dollars box. Okay. And if you look right now, most of the guys, everybody got his traveler humidor. Right. The box. So it's easy. You just grab Three a bundle, a handful, and put it in there. Yes. Humidor and they can keep it. it moving. So why all charge them for a box for that a nobody's going to use? Nobody use it. Got it. That makes sense. Um, uh, for the platinum edition, we make five cigars a pack. Hmm. Uh, I, I think you did smoke once before. I'm not sure if I smoked the platinum. Mm -hmm. I've smoked the... It's a medium body. Okay. It's all Habano. Um, Habano 2000 or... Habano. It's old Habano. Old Habano, okay. Uh, it's Nicaraguan filler. Mm -hmm. Nicaraguan binder. Mm -hmm. And it's all... Age roughly about five and a half years. Which is your most popular? Most popular size? No, which is your most popular cigar? Um, I think we can get in the most popular size. What's every your most popular day cigar? cigar, every day cigar, people they smoke the bundles. Okay. Every day cigars. Okay. Because the price too. Okay. Until now, we're doing it not for money, but for the love mm -hmm. of a cigar. Okay. And. Um, you have the platinum, it's a five pack in three different sizes. Mm -hmm. A Robusto, Toro, and a Gordo. Okay. That's it. Okay. For the gold edition, it's a box of 10 cigars and uh, it's a Toro or a Gordo. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Again, we're trying to make it simple mm -hmm. so the customer doesn't get confused. What I did is smoke. Okay, what size you smoke? Uh, I smoked the Gordo, okay. Do you remember it was a platinum edition or mm -hmm. the gold edition or regular Jacob? Okay. Uh, they call me a cigar doctor for a reason. Right. <laughs> so we're trying to go simple, not confusing. This is this is how I make the cigars and then I age it right and then I smoke it. Aver okay. Average cigar age for me it's about six to seven, eight years sometimes. Mm -hmm. We still have cigars uh, 18 years old. Oh, okay. Where you have the tobacco, where you get aged tobacco from no, your... No, the, the, the first cigar we still have. Oh, wow. From okay. the first cigar, me and my friend did it. It was actually, I still have a couple boxes left okay. 18 years old. Okay, cool. That we keep here for... Uh, special occasion. Yeah. And remember, cigars is different. Right. Every day, every, day, every it's year. It's a different mm -hmm. mode. Uh, as much you getting older, your smoke will be different. Right, your taste change. Everything changes. You know, we talked about the this only thing that doesn't change is your wife or girlfriend right. if you have one. Right. Well, no, sometimes they change too. Unfortunately, I hope so. Yeah. Well, Twenty seventeen. <laughs> um, one of the things we talked about before is that it's really hard for you to have a favorite cigar that stays your favorite cigar all the time. For instance. You know, when people ask me what my favorite cigar is, it changes over time. As I smoke more cigars, I'll find a new favorite. Or as you just talked about, your palate changes. Talk about how that's happened for you. And, you know, even among your cigars, maybe this was a favorite at time and in that. Uh, maybe it's a different size. I know when I first started smoking cigars, I smoked Robusto. But I smoked that strictly because it lasted exactly the length of my commute from my home to work. Um, but now I find I like Lanceros, um, and I also like, you know, the bigger torpedoes. I'm not a big, big fan of the gigantic cigars, the 660s and the 860s and all those big sizes, although I have found some that I like, but, you know, I like the torpedoes, I like the Lanceros. Talk about... This is two different subjects. Yes, they are. First subject, we'll talk about the cigar size. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to be uh, professional. And diplomatic. And diplomatic. And political correct. No. 
No, no you're no, never no. political correct. Well, I was going. Uh, no, I was. No. That was a trick question. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you located, and uh, how long you've been here? We are located in uh, Ridley Park, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. It's about three minutes away from uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Airport, International Airport. 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 And uh, I've been here for 12 years now. Okay. This is, was my first shop. It was a tobacco shop, hookahs, cigarettes, um, everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, about three years ago, we took over next door. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, this lounge was my first cigar lounge, mm -hmm. uh, my first cigar shop and tobacco shop. Okay. So we used to, we still, we are an outlet, tobacco outlet. Tobacco outlet. And you also a cigar, do hookah. Hookahs, mm -hmm. we are hookah distributors. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sell nationwide hookah. Mm -hmm. And we sell cigars nationwide. We sell cigar in Europe. We sell cigars in Middle East. Okay. Uh, uh, last week we had the first distributor for Jacob in China. Congratulations! Thank you. Nice. I met I met Jackie Chan himself. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a restaurant here at one point in time. No, this side, the first one. It was a massage, massage place. <laughs> and let me tell you a funny story about this. When I took this place over, it was a massage and rooms everywhere. Oh. So I walked in here, the floor was sticky a little bit. <laughs> so I said, hell no. <laughs> so I said, guys, the construction company, I said, destroy everything. I want to see the old, bre old bricks. Mm -hmm. And we fix it. And we destroyed everything, and we built it the way from A to Z okay. that way. That mm -hmm. was 12 years ago. Now, three years ago, three, actually, this past Christmas it was the third Christmas for us next door. Okay. So, that used to be a, a state place. Okay. And I took it over. Okay. And we cut the walls. We put all the retail on the other side. We made that as lounge, mm -hmm. and that is the biggest lounge in the lower county. Okay. Um, for cigars. Okay. So, um, great cigar. Thank you. Really enjoy it. Um, and it's one I want to encourage uh, my readers to come out and get. And um, the other thing I, I always encourage people to do is support your local brick and mortar stores. Yeah, you can go online and order cigars, but A, you can't go online and order a really fantastic house blend. And one of the things that I think that people shouldn't do, I don't think they should bypass the cigars thinking that they're not as good as some of the regular popular brands. So I encourage you to do that. But the other thing is support the brick and mortar because it's a place to go to smoke. You can order a cigar, but you can't order the experience. You can't order a Jacob. Uh, from going online, you can meet Jacob and you can hang out with Jacob and you can learn from Jacob when you come to Jacob's Cigars and Tobacco Outlet. So Jacob, if somebody wants to order cigars from you, what's the telephone number that they need to reach you at? So 610 994 0542. Okay, so 610 994 0542. Four, two. You can call us all the time and we'll get your information. I will ship it to you, or you can message me on Facebook, which is you'll have to like our page first. It's J A C O U B apostrophe S Cigars and Tobacco Outlet. Yep, so that's how you can reach them on Facebook. Follow like our page mm -hmm. and uh, follow us. We always do promotions, buy this, get that, uh, free shipping sometimes. Um, uh, there's a lot of followers on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I don't tweet. I don't do Instagram yet. Right, okay. So that's how you reach them if you want to order some of these great cigars. Um, Jacob, thank you very much You're for welcome. the cigar You're and welcome. for the place. You've been very supportive of me and the I book effort. I best. I know, you're, you're the cigar doctor. 
that's what they call it. All right. Pleasure. Everybody, you got to come out here. You got to try these cigars. They're very, very good. This is Charles Kelly um, with The Lancer Life, uh, www.thelancerlife.com. Thanks for joining. Enjoy the cigar. Stay smoky, my friend. And stay smoky. See you guys. All right. <laughs>